Lightmatica is one of the best Minecraft mods out there, in my opinion. It allows you to easily copy, paste, and move builds. It allows you to pull in builds using schematics from completely other worlds or from schematics that you found and downloaded from the internet. Truthfully, there is tons of different options for Lightmatica. That's why it's one of the most popular mods out there and one of the best mods out there, especially if you're into building. So uh, let's go ahead and jump on into getting it. First things first, you need to go to the second link in the description down below, and that takes you to our in-depth text tutorial for getting Lightmatica. It's also worth noting at this point that Lightmatica is the new version of Scumatica. Scumatica doesn't exist anymore, at least in modern versions of Minecraft. Lightmatica has stepped in, provided more features, as well as the same features that Scumatica had, and allows you to install it in 1.19.3. But nevertheless, once you're on this page, if you do want to go through things more about your own pace, you can do so using the text tutorial. But let's go ahead and click on the download Lightmatica button to be taken to Minecraft's, or Lightmatica's, excuse me, official download page. On Lightmatica's official download page, you can look at the right-hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section. Under that, you'll see Lightmatica Fabric 119.3, and you can click the orange download button next to that. After a few seconds, Lightmatica will start downloading. However, while it's downloading, how about us for a sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting, and at Apex, you have easy installation of over 200 mod packs, as well as the ability to run your own mods and plugins on the server. Apex has 24 hours, 7 day a week support should you have any issues, so go check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own server. Nevertheless, with Lightmatica downloaded, there's one more mod we need to download. Lightmatica has a library mod called the Mali Lib, and you can find, of course, a link to that in the description below, which will take you here. When you're here, scroll down, click the download Mali Lib button, and it will take you to Mali Lib's official download page. On this page, you want to go to the right-hand sidebar again, scroll into the 119 section, and download the Mali Lib Fabric 1.19.3 version right here. Click the download button, and it will download after a few seconds. I forgot to mention this about Lightmatica, but you may need to keep or save Lightmatica or Mali Lib or anything we actually download in this video, depending on your browser. They're all 100% safe to download, most of them being downloaded over millions of times, but for some reason, Google Chrome sometimes has issues. Same with Firefox. You may need to keep or save them. Perfectly normal if that happens. Nonetheless, we also need to download Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that allows Molly Lib and, of course, Lightmatica to work in Minecraft 1.19.3. You can find a link to Fabric in the description down below. And when you're here, this is our in-depth guide on getting Fabric. We're going to go over the basics in this video, though. Just click on the yellow Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download page. On this page, we're going to click on the Download Universal Jar link because if you download it via the Universal Jar, once you've installed, we'll be able to actually install other mods for Forge and make servers do things like that in Minecraft a lot easier if you use the universal jar here. To click on that, and again, you may need to keep or save the file. Now at this point, we can minimize our browser, and let's go ahead and move all three of these files, Lightmatica, Mollylib, and Fabric, to our desktop. You can find them in your downloads folder by clicking the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You may have a downloads folder here, or you may have one here, but if you don't, go ahead and click on File Explorer. Then on the left-hand sidebar, scroll down to the This PC section, Click on the arrow and select the downloads folder here. In here you have Fabric, Molly Lib, and Lightmatica. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we want to go ahead and make sure we're actually starting off with Fabric. And by the way, if these don't look like mine, that's okay. Let's try to install Fabric first. Right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That will then open up the Fabric installer. But what if you don't have Java here, or what if your icons don't look like mine? When well, both of those scenarios, what you want to do is actually go to the description down below and get Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, and guess what? Lightmatica is a Minecraft mod. So go to the description, download Java 17, get it up and running, and then you'll be good to go. However, you may also need to run the jar fix, and this is going to take all the jar files to your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together again. But make sure you do run Java 17 and get that installed before you get the jar fix. Otherwise, the jar fix won't work. Nevertheless, we minimize our browser. We can finally install Fabric. Right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That will open up the Fabric installer here. What you want to do is make sure the 1.19.3 version is selected and click Install. The only reason this won't work is if it won. Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. If that's the case, close out of both of those, then reinstall Fabric. Or if two, you've never played Minecraft 1.19.3 before. If that's the case, just go open it up, vanilla latest release, then as soon as it's on the main menu, you can close out of it and reinstall Fabric. Click OK though, 
close out of the Fabric Installer, and delete it from your desktop. Now let's get Lightmatica and Molly Lib installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. And once you're in the Minecraft Launcher, you'll most likely have Fabric already selected. That's great, but we don't need to play Minecraft just yet. So let's go here to the Installations tab. And by the way, if you don't have Fabric, make sure Modded is checked here. As you can see, we uncheck Modded, it disappears. Check Modded, it reappears. If you still don't have Fabric here, though, you can create a new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Lightmatica 1.19.3 because that's what we're uh, installing. And then on the version drop-down box here, we want to select Release Loader Fabric 1.19.3. This is the most important part, that we select Release Fabric Loader 1.19.3. Then you can change the resolution. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game later and click create. Now we have the Lightmatica profile with Fabric Loader 119.3 and we also have the default Fabric Loader profile. Now to install Lightmatica, just hover over one of these. Doesn't matter which one you do and click on the folder that appears. That's gonna open your .minecraft folder. Now in here you should have a mods folder and if you don't have a mods folder, just right click, create a new folder and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. I went a little fast there. So if you don't have a mods folder, what you wanna do is right click and create a new folder and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase. Open up your mods folder and now drag and drop Lightmatica and Molly Lib into this mods folder right like so close out of your mods folder and now we can play minecraft click play click play again and lightmatica is installed it really is that simple and that easy to get lightmatica up and running in minecraft 1.19.3 let's go ahead and we'll show you that it's installed in game and i'm guessing you actually want to learn how to use lightmatica well in the description down below we actually do have an in-depth guide on how to do exactly that i forgot to open it so let me do that here it is, and as you can see, it's an 11 minute video, chapter it out and everything, that goes over exactly how to get Lightmatica up and running, as well as how to use it, right? Loading schematics, exporting schematics, creating schematics, it's all covered in that video. Copy, pasting, all of that stuff, and uh, yeah, it's really, really good. It's super in-depth. It's helped over 80,000 people, so go check this out. It is in the description down below. It'll also be on your screen at the end of the video. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and confirm that Schematica is installed. To do that, we want to jump into single player. And then once we're in single player, there's a few buttons that Schematica uses to be able to open and work and all of that stuff. One of those buttons is M. M opens up basically kind of the general schematic menu where you can load schematics and all of that stuff. You can make selections. A lot of stuff can be done here. However, at this point, you can see Schematica is installed. So if you have any questions about how to download, install Schematica, let us know in the comment section down below. We will try our best to help you out and get Schematica up and running for you in Minecraft 1.19.3. But at this point, it is up and running in 1.19.3. By the way, you can also check out other different you know, commands and controls, if you will, by going to controls, keybinds, and then scrolling down, and you should have a Lightmatica section in here, unless they've removed it recently. It seems like they have, which is kind of sad. But nevertheless, if you hit M, that is the Schematica menu, and then it uh, goes over everything. Okay, there we go. So if you hit M and then go to hotkeys, you can see all the different stuff that you can do with Lightmatica using just hotkeys. It's crazy. Nevertheless, check out that video if you want to know how to use Lightmatica. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.